Hello everyone. In this video, CSR driver and the Pulse CSR provider is already running. And the steps that you are going to follow to mount the Pulse secrets into the Kubernetes pod are uh, we need to create a secret role binding to give a service account the necessary permission to read from the vault. We'll create a secret provider class and we'll see how a secret provider class can be created in a very simpler way using the key vault CLI. So let's start by creating our service account that we'll need to read from the vault. So we have our service account created. Now let's create the secret role binding. So we have created the secret role binding successfully and it has created a vault policy to read from a particular path from the vault. And this policy has been binded to the earlier created service accounts. So the service account has the necessary permission to read from that particular path of the vault. Now let's see how easily we can create the secret provider class. Using the people CLI, it's very easy to create a secret provider class using the following command. So if we check the secret provider class generate help, then we can see there are a couple of examples given. I can simply take one and edit it as necessary. So let's say I want to mount the my SQL user and SQL password in my Kubernetes pod. I need to use the MySQL role as I have created the MySQL role here. Let's provide the MySQL role name, which is the read only role. Secret role running here. Uh, let's give the name Vault DB Provider. And let's create it in the test time space. Let's try it. We can see a secret role running is created here. Let's dump it in a YAML file. So we can see our secret provider class YAML here. So now let's deploy the secret provider class. So our secret provider class has been successfully created. Now let's take a look at uh, the YAML of our pod here. So at our pod, we have I provided the service account name. This service account has a permission to read from this particular vault. And the secret provider class we have just created, which is vault DB provider. So, and the secrets will be mounted in the pod in this particular path. So now let's create the secret provider class and let's keep watching the pods in the test name space. So the app is now continuing creating and we have the pod up and running. So once the secrets has been successfully mounted, the pod will start up. Now let's exit to the pod and see uh, the credentials in there. So we are successfully exited the pod. Now, if we see that, then we can see the path where our secret should be stored is there. So let's see into it. Let's ls. We can see the SQL pass and SQL user, the name we had provided are there. Let's check the content of SQL user. 
So I can see a uh, username, which is mounted here. And let's check the SQL pass also. Yes, so we can see the SQL password also here. So this is a very simple method to mount vault secrets into Kubernetes props.